All right. So one of the uh, things I like to do on YouTube is uh, is watch uh, history channels. Um, I watch the uh, one of the channels I subscribe to is the Cold War. Uh, I also subscribe to the History Guy, uh, and there are several others that I pay attention to. And uh, but uh, you know uh, the ones that I subscribe to are the ones that. Uh, I'll give it more, I try to be more honest and not try to uh, skew events uh, too bad uh, to kind of whitewash uh, the history. Uh, and so, uh, <clears throat> anyways, so uh, generally speaking, uh, there's not a lot of uh, I, I, I can say, uh, I can, uh, I can think of, uh, criticisms, but, uh, then it, I don't feel it's significant enough for me to, uh, put a comment in, but, uh, the, the Cold War channel, which I like, oh, which I like, and I think it's very informative, uh, uh, and, uh, they have a few other, uh, channels linked to it, uh, did a uh, did a uh, uh, did one about the Mao Mau uh, the Mao Mau the Mao Mau uprising in Kenya uh, during uh, the time of <coughs> British colonial uh, colonial rule over there. Now they did a great uh, they did a great job. They discuss uh, how uh, the British uh, were basically. Uh, you know, the British had violently taken over uh, uh, Kenya, uh, how their rule was uh, completely and utterly monstrously oppressive, uh, that the white settlers could basically do, uh, could get away with doing anything, including murder of Kenyans, um, uh, how they, uh, the Kenyans couldn't uh, grow uh uh, food crop or anything that could be sold. Uh, they had a. Uh, they basically were uh, being paid less than uh, less than uh, uh, less than uh, far less than adequate. Uh, you know they, uh, the violence that they were doing in their uh, oppressive uh, ruling. Uh, uh, as well as uh, uh, white supremacist rule in Kenya was uh, very much like what uh, what uh, what the uh, uh, British did in the uh, in the uh, in the, uh, in the Americas, as well as Portugal, Spain, France, um, you know, and, and a lot of the uh, uh, and uh, many uh, the Dutch. Uh, it's there's a lot there's a lot of Stuff that's been whitewashed about the horrors that they've done, that they committed, and you know, in a large way, they're still doing it. Except now, it's not called colonialism. It's it's called uh, such as like the uh, Gulf War or uh, going into South America with the CIA or you know, it's it sees uh, instead of calling an inversion, uh, in, uh, instead of calling an invasion. Uh, they're, uh, uh, God, I can't think of the damn word. I just had it. But you know you know what I'm talking about. So, anyways, I was watching this. And it's the, uh, basically towards the end, the, the guy that does uh, this uh, particular channel, he says uh, there, were, there were no uh, real uh, villains or heroes. There's no heroes or villains. Except, it's completely contradictory uh, to what was actually said. Uh, 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 what was said, what was told about the history. The British were clearly the villains. Uh, the Kenyans, which uh, had tried to get uh, policy and others uh, through student uh, student action and protests, to uh, get more rights. Uh, 
for the, uh, for Kenyans and uh, get more equality and equ equanimity. Except the British were doing everything and anything to do the opposite. They were using them. Uh, they were putting them in concentration camps. They were doing uh, uh, concentration forced labor, uh, bas basically slavery. They were doing, uh, you know, gulag style and and uh, and Nazi style concentra uh, concentration and death camps because they were killing a lot. They killed a lot of kids, really young kids. So the clear vi uh, villain is there, and the Mau Mau were the ones who finally uh, said, "Enough is enough. We have to uh, we have to get rid of the British," and they started using guerrilla tactics and others to become freedom fighters to uh, kick out the British. It failed, and and uh, and uh, uh, fifty thousand or more died. Never mind, uh, you know, it's, uh, and, you know, one of the things that they point out is that the Mau Mau uh, killed other Kenyans. But these were the people that were, uh, that had been kowtowed and uh, basically these cowards who could not understand that they should have been standing in solidarity with their other fellow Kenyans who were fighting, except they were uh, t uh, giving uh, giving the Mau Mau freedom fighters away, giving the secrets away, uh, running to the uh, British. So they, uh, I, far, far as I'm concerned, you s side with the Brits against your uh, against your own countrymen. Your, uh, I'm sorry, your own country people, not men, people. Because I don't like using uh, man or men. You side with them, then you are. You are a traitor. So, and uh, while I can, uh, while I can intellectualize it, I cannot, in uh, in ethical or moral sense, uh, allow it because the violence that, which has been going on for decades since the Brits had taken over uh, Kenya. Ongoing, over and over the generations. I mean, they couldn't even use roads. They built everything. The Kenyans were forced to build everything. weren't uh, weren't being uh, weren't being paid or given uh, uh, given uh, uh, rights or anything. So they were basically slaves. And they were, it, and the uh, and the uh, draconian measures just kept on getting piled on and piled on and piled on. No matter how much the Kenyans were trying to uh, uh, do it in a nonviolent way la later on, after this is, and then there's this uh, there's this idiot uh, who comments. Uh, I can't read the. Uh, I can't. He's either Russian, or, uh, Russian, or uh, one of the Baltic states, or, or possibly even uh, Greek. He comments, "Yeah, well, well, you completely gloss over what the uh, Mau Mau did, the violence that the Mau Mau committed against the uh, uh, British and and the and the uh, and the, uh, and, the uh, and other Kenyans." Yeah, but you, you, that's that's a sort of that's a sort of stupid, silly thinking. Uh, and ideology. It's like, who started the violence? Who kept on doing the violence? Violence was, which was uh, generationally uh, causing uh, physical, emotional, mental harm. Real violence. You know, uh, I'm one of those type that, that believes that, you know, if, you, if you're going to uh, do violence and you do outright violence, uh, you know, it's monstrous, but at least it, it's, it, it's quicker and people aren't going uh, to suffer and, the, and you're not going to bring, uh, you're not going to have 
next generations uh, uh, coming in, having to uh, live uh, however long they live and suffer. This is a, this is the. It pisses me off when, uh, when people uh, uh, do stuff shit like that. And then there's a, another idiot that said, "I've started the uh, uh, Kenya and the Mau Mau uh, rebellion and so on and so forth." And he, I think he said rebellion. And the thing is, is that's a clear that clearly shows where he uh, where he's coming from. The Brits had no right to be in Kenya. None whatsoever. And even if you do, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, uh, if you're gonna take uh, take a, 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 a country and a people, at least, at least, put in halfway effort to see to some of the uh, well-being and welfare of the people that you conquer. Don't brutalize them. Try to be, try to think forward, but that's not what they did. They didn't even try even a quarter. Hell, not even, not even one one tenth of it. <laughs> so, I, uh, I, I, I look at, I, I, I look at the uh, people that think like that as being nothing more than white supremacist piece of shit trash. I don't even look at, at look at them as human. I don't even look at them as people. They're monsters, and they're monsters who think that uh, they're not, because that very uh, the way they phrase the comments, the way they uh, talked about it, clearly shows that they ignored them. All of the horrible things that the uh, British did, which the British did uh, all over Africa, the French still do it all over the Af all over Africa with the uh, French Foreign Legion. Never mind what the uh, what the Ger uh, Germans did in Africa, in in in, uh, in South America, in Central America. Never mind what the Americans. And never mind what the Russians did. This is, you know, it's like, if, if you're going to be honest, be honest. And look at it, you know, uh, cause, colonialism. Effect, people fight that lived, uh, who uh, lived on the land, who, uh, they're going to fight you. When you do policy and you do an agenda to basically make them a non-entity, a non-people, make them nothing more than, uh, than animals, and you're going to exploit them and use them like animals, guess what? I have no fucking empathy for you. Guess what? I think you're a piece of shit. I think you're a uh, you're trash. I think you're uh, less than uh, less than people. I think you're monsters, and I think you uh, you deserve everything that comes to you. I don't care if you look like me, because the Chinese are doing it. Some of those Chinese assholes are fucking doing it in Africa, and in also even in their own countries. Koreans have done it. Japanese definitely have done it. But you know what? It's at least with Koreans and Japanese. Uh, well, no, modern Japanese, anyways. The, after the uh, war, uh, World War Two. But at least with the Japanese, they're not. Uh, they're not really going around do, uh, doing that as much. They still. It still happens. But you know, the uh, South Koreans. Uh, they don't go around uh, trying to conquer. And uh, and uh, and so on and so forth. Of course, South Koreans uh, uh, or Koreans are actually 
even before there was a South Korea and there was just one Korea, uh, you know, uh, from what I understand from uh, researching the history, before, uh, you know, going back to when uh, the uh, Chinese uh, uh, had basically made uh, Korea a puppet state, uh, the Korean Peninsula a puppet state, and the Korean people a puppet state, and then the Japanese, and all kinds of the sheer amount of uh, of criminal uh, mismanagement and the and the uh, rampant ignorance uh, throughout uh, Korean history, uh, you know, with all these uh, with all this uh, weird, bizarre things. Uh, and, and frankly, the cowardice. Uh, it's no wonder that uh, Korea, uh, Korea uh, suffered as uh, much as it did. But the point I'm trying to make is I don't give a fuck what, your, uh, what the color of your skin is. If you cannot treat another person like you would want to be treated. I like I wouldn't want somebody to come up here uh, come up to me out of nowhere and uh, and uh, punch me. And of course if you punch me, I'm going to fight back. You're damn right I'm going to fight back. And if you get hurt in, in, in the process, I go I don't give a fuck. You deserved it. You came at me, I finished it. Period. That's the way I look at it. There are times when you need to look at it as black and white. You did the black deed. I, uh, I, 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 uh, and and, uh, and that was the cause. The black deed was the cause, and I, uh, and I uh, had uh, did the effect of uh, retaliating. You know, it, it's it's natural common law common rules if, you, if I'm out in the woods and uh, and a animal attacks me yes I'm going to defend myself and I have no problem with anybody defending themselves from the, doing that but if you're going out there to hunt an animal just so you can take a fucking trophy and make a trophy out of it guess what then you're the fucking asshole then you're the fucking monster. Taking an animal because uh, you're hunting, uh, you're hunting for food. That's one thing. To feed yourself, feed your family. That's one thing. But going out there to hunt for a fucking trophy, and I don't give a, give a fuck if you think it fucking makes you masculine or kingly or whatever. That's just fucking bullshit. Killing uh, an animal for that is murder. It, it, it simply comes down to that. If you're attacked, then you can defend. If you do the attacking, then those you attack sh uh, should be able to defend. And they have every right to defend. Simple. Simple. Cut and dry. You attack for no reason and they defend themselves? Guess what? You're the fucking monster. You're the fucking asshole. You're the fucking immoral piece of shit. That's it. That's what it comes down to. I don't care who, I don't care who the fuck you are or where the fuck you live. Right? is right, wrong is wrong. Cause and effect. That's how, that's how everything in the, in the world and in the universe works. Cause and effect. Such as, we are, uh, we are using hydrocarbons. We are uh, consuming the fuck, uh, consuming ourselves to fucking death. And we're littering our, uh, our consumption everywhere. 
cause. The effect being uh, uh, climate change and global warming uh, and uh, and <coughs> and poisons and other things that, uh, and excesses of uh, things that uh, uh, might be uh, hel helpful coming back because we're putting too much of it or we're throwing poisons into our uh, into our ecosystem and it's coming back and giving us cancers, diabetes because we're uh, putting too much uh, sugar and uh, and salt and other stuff. Obesity because we're uh, putting way too much sugar and salt and other stuff. Cardiac uh, pulmonary uh, problems. Lung problems. I smoke, so therefore I got uh, issues uh, issues w uh, with breathing and bronch uh, bronchial problems. The cause is I, I started smoking. The effect is I'm having uh, bronchial problems, breathing problems. I made the choice. I know I know the I know the uh, I know the health issues involved in that, but I uh, but I uh, but I won't quit. The effect, uh, the cause of me actually trying to, uh, start to smoke. No, the effect of me actually start to smoke is because the cause is because I found that life, uh, life uh, in this country, facing the prejudice and racism and this constant thing of you know you have to work meaningless things. So you can survive, rather than doing what I really would like to do. And then when I tried to get uh, get that done, there are so many fucking hurdles, so many fucking roadblocks that I can't do it. And then the constant social and economic and all these other factors, which knocks down uh, my uh, knocks down any uh, any form of confidence I had, has made me. Uh, hate myself. It made me uh, and uh, devalued myself. That it, it it's it, it'd be like trying to uh, climb uh, Mount Ev uh, you know the highest mountain in the world, or you know uh, bigger than the uh, highest mountain in the world. Without any, without any, uh, without anything uh, um, assured, it, that's that's what it comes down to. But at least with all of the stuff that, uh, that I'm still, I'm still struggling and working. And there are many times when I want to fucking kill myself, and end it, because what I see is a miserable fucking world. And that misery is generated by us. And I say us. Because I am partially responsible. But then we were all, many of us were all brought in behind the eight ball. From the minute we're born, We've been put into the sick, twisted thing that we like to say life, but it's fucking in a, it's an existence on a steady tread towards fucking death, and death is a uh, relief. And why? Because there are too many, too many, who are like those Kenyans who should have. Uh, who should have? Who shouldn't have? Not who should not have uh, uh, been cowards, and should have seen the value in standing up with a mau mau. It's because the uh, the Brits uh, felt that they had the right. This childish. Infantile, psychotic uh, infancy that goes 
uh, the childish infancy that goes on until uh, uh, adulthood, into uh, to the de uh, to the day they die. This idea of of might makes right, and the survival of the fittest. When the biggest factor is working our mind and body in conjunction with our uh, with a balanced emotion that is this it, that is altogether the trivia that is the spirit that allows us to think critically that it works to find new answers new pathways that tries to be uh, that tries to build a society that's inclusive that tries to make it so that we can spend more time with our uh, loved ones with our family and friends which gives us more uh, horizons for aspirations that enhance uh, enhance us all collectively and makes a better world that makes it so it's more organic when we have when we have relationships so we don't have wife beaters or or women uh, uh, women uh, uh, doing the opposite or to, uh, or seeing the value of uh, of getting in with a uh, guy because of uh, because of this fucking insane stupid and and uh, self imprisoning and enslaving idea of money the whole idea that your value is based on this fucking useless destructive piece of garbage and the value the value I value in others is the person is and how we can come together and find new pathways new ways to uh, to elevate each other and find uh, substance where we're not we're not hoping for happiness we're not hoping for love we will we will live naturally because we are fulfilling ourselves in mind body and emotion which is a spirit We won't look at being, oh, I want to be the hottest girl. I want to be the hottest guy. Oh, I want to be the best singer. I want to be the uh, best actor. I want to be the po uh, politicians. I want to be uh, uh, the billionaire, the millionaire. I want to be uh, held in great esteem from, uh, for, uh, for uh, scientific endeavors or medical endeavors. It's, that's still competition. That's still uh, uh, yearning for attention. That's being a fucking child and never growing up. Talking about, talking about uh, silly, stupid shit. That have no consequence. Living a life that essentially comes down to you doing the same fucking thing over and over. <coughs> From the minute you're you, <coughs> the minute you're awake, to the day you die. That's that's inconsequential. And if we got, if we were to be honest with ourselves, we honestly can say that. You know, life sucks. This, it, there's got, we, we all ask the question, there's got to be more. And until we come to realize that the more means that we must invest, invest in our balance, invest in our 
imagination, our innovation, our, uh, our aspirations, and our values, and, through, uh, and getting that balance, and, and learning, and having an interest and curiosity is the pathway towards that. Uh, happiness won't be a mystery. We won't say, oh, I want to be happy. I want to find happiness. I want to find love. I want to... It will come. It will come naturally. Community and solidarity all come naturally. Thinking ahead and planning ahead will all come naturally. We will all find uh, certain niches that we are good at that we uh, that others will see and take uh, take the the informed advice and instruction which is shared with the community without demanding something in return because the return is that the community will come uh, will uh, get uh, will come together to make sure that you have. The, uh, your basic uh, needs. They'll share their own skills, and it, that's the society we should have. We can, and within that society, we can still have our smartphones. We can, uh, we can uh, go forward much, uh, much faster. We can cover the basic needs. We can cover all that. But what we have right now. Is is the Pirates of the Caribbean a casino? Uh, casino winner take all. The house always wins, and you're fucked if you're not part of the house. That's what we have. We have predators. We have predators and prey. Do we got the small uh, number of predators? And the rest of our uh, rest of our sheep and prey. That's all we are. And I refuse to be the sheep and prey. I refuse to, uh, to say that we can't achieve true greatness as a collective, as a, uh, as a sol in solidarity uh, and collectiveness. I refuse 